All right, so we get another look here at the Motown phenom, Kevin Lee. He's realized success in two UFC divisions. Remains to be seen as to whether or not he'll be a lightweight or welterweight going forward. But when this guy puts it all together, DC, he is absolutely a player. Kevin Lee is one of those guys that has every ability inside of the octagon. He's a phenomenal boxer. He has great grappling skills, but ultimately what he needs to rely on is his wrestling. He wrestled at Grand Valley State University, same place as Tony Ferguson, and had a really good career there. When he relies on that, when he takes guys down and he's able to use his wrestling to dictate the pace of the fight, he's generally successful. Come on. 
Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Under two minutes now to go. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Luka. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. He Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Lee's back in half guard. Getting them out here. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. All right, has the guard closed here. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh. Round two next. All right, listen. You did pretty good that round, but I need you to keep space now. Okay? Do not be content to fight when he's grabbing you. I need you to avoid... All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? Ready. Do All right, here we go with round two. Nice loop of punch. Huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Swing and a big miss by Luke. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, effective strike there from the clinch by Luke. Nice defense. All right, gets inside, gets the single power tie here. Good right hand. Oh. 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 oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Lucas has got full mount now. Push on his head and posture. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Good work from the top here by Luke. Big ground and pound. Great defense by this fighter. Luke's back in full mount. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to pinch his technique. Oh, no. Nice job, Kevin Lee. Seems as though he's not going to be deterred. He wants a sub. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. 45 seconds remain in the round. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. 20 seconds left. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top.
striking pretty well from the bottom uh, here. Uh, All right, that's the end of round number hey, two. Stop. Great fight. Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, uppercut. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watch. Oh, man right there. His opponent's Robinson. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk. Yeah, he's trying to get to the darts here. That dart choke is tight. Oh, he's out. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one dimensional, not head hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Lee's back in north-south. Side control now. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You be. have got to free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get an arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Lee's in half guard. Oh, beautiful transition right into side control. That was a slick transition. Scramble, scramble. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He's now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. All, right. <laughs> All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be Ready. the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Fourth round, fight schedule for the and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's not okay. Okay. Oh, shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Well, the cut man's getting.
getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Nice transition. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man. I have got to get on the offense from bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes. Oh, that's one of those shots that if you take one of them, you can get the knife that way over the Oh! Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, the fight is going to have to address this. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Luque is able to protect the eye there with that block. Nice job with his fight awareness there to raise the guard. Good punch, man. Back to the feet now. All right, 45 seconds now to go. Oh, he's hurt now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Ten seconds to go in round four. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> what a round. Multiple Listen. knockdowns. Amazing to think he didn't get him out of there, but he came pretty damn close. Oh, definitely let the bodies hit the floor. There was one guy's body hit the floor over and over and over again. So he showed tremendous toughness. But for his opponent, he has to be seeing stars in his eyes because he understands with this type of performance, he puts Dana White on notice. He puts Sean Shelby on notice. He puts the fans on notice. Everybody's excited about him because they know we have an exciting knockout finisher right in the midst of our presence. You ready to fight? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Right on the button. He's just being more aggressive. Big shot to the head. That'll do it! Huh? Huh? Oh my god! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 37 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC Walter Waite champion of the world. Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke Hay. 
So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound king.